I know Chiggs is in here recording or some shit. No Chiggs moved in here, right? So whatever you oh, say. Sorry, you know Chiggs gonna have, have everything up there. Whatever you say, Chiggs gonna be on YouTube with it, man. But I you, like you. Come on. Give me a second, y'all. Yo, yo, what's happening? Good money. Wow. We got someone else who needs to hear it. What to say? Don't stop telling your stories, right? Right. Nah, so, you know, let me, let me, let me start this thing by uh, saying, like, y'all know I really don't even, like, be dealing with this social media shit. It's not really my thing. I don't knock nobody, you know, if that's their thing or whatever. But um, it's just not mine. Um, so, you know, I told a two-part story about uh, the guy, Jeffrey Dahmer. I want, I want to um, first start this thing. I'm waiting on a couple more people to get here. Well, I really get started with this last part of the story or whatever. So I want to address a couple of things first. A lot of people was like, why I'm dragging R. Kelly under the bus or, or whatever. So what I said is y'all still playing Kells at your kid's pool party, you know? And I didn't mean there's no disrespect to Kells. What I meant was just that, you know, cats are still doing you know, they history. You got history with Kel. So, you know, regardless of what it is that he did, you know, you still really fuck with him. Like, if it was your kid, if your kid did something, like, it's your history. So you still deal with him. So I'm saying, what's wrong with me telling my story then? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, a lot of cats tripping on me for, you know, speaking my history. And it's my history. It ain't, you know, I also want to say that I wasn't, um, Lord, like talking about, oh, he giddy about uh, knowing Dama. I ain't really giddy about knowing no nigga. Like, you dig what I'm saying? Like, I meet a lot of niggas. You know what I'm saying? I ain't I ain't never been giddy about me. No, ain't nothing giddy-ish. Get a fight about me about meeting no nigga. You know what I'm saying? It was just a dude that just happened to be where I was at the time. And unlike some of y'all think, the... Uh, Department of Correction didn't call me and ask me, was it okay to bring him to the prison? You know what I'm saying? I didn't have nothing to do with that. You know, bro, bro ain't hit me on the phone. He ain't hit me. Matter of fact, we ain't even had cell phones then, bro. Like, it was landlines, you know? So, ain't nobody hit me and asked me nothing. So, I ain't got no say. You dig? Um, let me see what else I want to say before I get started with this story. Oh, and everybody's like, oh, why he wait to say it now? First of all, this ain't the first time I said it. When I first came home, a couple uh, interviews into my whole career, I said it already. I was, there was this like weird stuff to happen. I was like, yeah, you know, I was like next door to the cat, Jeffrey Dahmer or whatever. And they was like, oh, for real? I was like, yeah, but it's, it was just in passing because I guess he wasn't popping. Y'all made the nigga pop and I ain't making. And cats say that, um, I'm a, I'm just, uh, 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 what, what's the word they use? Uh, 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 trying to ride wave or I'm, I'm open. Let me see. What, what, what is, I'm going to read exactly what it said. Uh, clout chasing. Then you say I'm, I'm clout chasing because I'm telling my story. Something that happened to me personally. 
because I put it on Instagram. First of all, let me say, you goddamn right. Everybody clout chase, bro. If you on this Instagram and you post a picture, you posted that thing so somebody else would be able to see it. If you post a story, you want somebody to like that story. And I don't want to hear that shit B about you talking about, oh, I just posted for me for members of my family. If you would have did that B, it would have been on top of your toilet or something. When your mama got down guarding them little them little plants that your grandmama be having, you would have put that shit there. You would have never put it online, daddy. So please with the bullshit, bro. Yeah, I put it up. That shit was popping right now. It was time for me to tell my story. You dig? Don't none of you niggas pay no bills over here. You dig what I'm saying? I ain't never saw one water bill in your name at this spot right here. So I just decided not. I wasn't going to tell the story mainly because I didn't want to offend nobody. I know he got, you know, family members and stuff, uh, you know, who's part of, who was victims of the crime. And I didn't really want to. Well, I was just like, I don't want them niggas feeling bad, but at the same time, shit, shit, man, like, shit, lady that killed my daddy got an Instagram. I can't go on there and be telling her ass, nigga, don't, don't, don't have no, no, no damn, uh, don't put no pictures up or don't make no videos. I can't tell her nothing like that. So can't nobody really tell me nothing like that. I, I ain't disrespecting nobody by telling my story, man. And uh, I'm cap capping and all this different stuff like this because in reality nigga you you what you mad because your motherfucking ass you ain't you was next door to him or something you would have told the story too if it would have happened to you if beyonce walked past you in the goddamn dunkin donuts and put it you so she farted walking past the dunkin donuts you couldn't wait to get online to talk about what that fart smell like bro like so you know y'all y'all on my head about this shit be like ah i'm i'm just a pedestrian bro like, you know, I got a whole bunch of stories, not just about him, you know. I may got a story about your mama or your grandmama. So, and also, and I'm going to get to the story too, but I just want to clear this shit up because I know it's somebody recording this right now and they're going to be chopping this shit up, trying to make me say something that they want me to say. But I want y'all to be able to be like, nah, he ain't. Dude ain't even rocking like that. You know, you got to put it in perspective, man. You know, talking about cancel, just cancel culture. So now we cancel niggas for telling their story. So the library should be canceled then because they got all the history right there. And a lot of it is cap. A lot of that library shit is cap. You know, uh, 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 America was discovered, you know, Christopher Columbus and all that shit. That shit is cap. Y'all ain't canceling the library. Y'all ain't doing none of that. But y'all want to cancel little old life Jennings. Mind his business. Go do his shows and come take care of his kids. Y'all niggas want to cancel. Talking about canceling me, man. You you can't cancel me anyway. Because unlike these other niggas, I made my shits off of keeping it 100. So any, if I just keep continue keeping it 100, that ain't nothing new. And you niggas is talking about canceling. When the last time you bought a life Jennings CD? When last time you bought a ticket to Life Jenny's show? Exactly. So y'all can go ahead with that shit. Don't be on my page about this bullshit. You don't like my page, bro? Chew that way. Chew your food that way. Divert. Talking about the diversion program. Go get your ass in the diversion program. Divert away from Life Jenny's page or something, bro. Like, right, cause you know I, you know I feed my kids like this, man. I, I I take that offensive, and if I want to tell my story, a bedtime story, your mama's story, or the love boat, uh, the Jeffersons, goddamn it, I, I can tell my shit, you know? Um, what else? Also, cat, like, story was, they talking about I was singing for Jeffrey Dahmer. I wasn't singing for that man like that. Like, when I did, first of all, I was a child. I was a teenager in there. You dig know what I'm saying? And it was a lot of cats requesting a lot of different things. So, dude, just happened to be one of those dudes that requested. And that's what I love to do. He didn't even have to ask for me to do it. I was going to do it. Cats talking about I was singing to him and he was going to do this and he was going to do that. I'm a grown ass man. Like, you dig what I'm saying? I I think, and honestly, I think I'm a bad motherfucker. Like, for real, for real. So, it ain't no room or no broom for nobody to do nothing to me. You dig? Not no Jeffrey, not no Tim, not no Brian, not no Corey, not nobody. You dig? 
So that's what that was about. I was doing what I like to do. He just happened to be part of the liking of what I was doing. You did? So I wanted to address that. Um, let me see. So, I think that's about pretty much all I got to address before I get into this. And y'all gonna trip when I'm y'all gonna trip when I'm gonna show you, man. I'm, I'm gonna give another minute for you to call your people and let your people know I'm on here because I'm gonna do this one time. But what I'm about to show you, you gonna trip. What I, what I'm about to show you and what I'm about to tell you, like you gonna trip, you know. And this shit gonna be all. I wanna address this shit too. A lot of y'all niggas breathe like, like a lot of y'all niggas, bro. It's like I didn't even know who the nigga was. I don't back then we didn't even have no computers. If I had to look up some nigga, it was on what we call microfish. You dig what I'm saying? And this was like some see-through shit you had to put and read the newspaper from the microfish. I ain't know nothing about the brother they say. They say dude had a body or some bodies or whatever. You know how many niggas I ran across that had a couple of bodies? Rather, they great bodies, dead bodies, workout bodies, whatever it was, bro. I didn't, I didn't been around a lot of bodies in my day, man. So, he was just another body. They, they needed somebody in the cell. He was just another body. So, you know. All right. I think that's it. That's enough of me venting, you know, but that shit just lightweight pissed me off, man, because I don't even never come on this thing. I do good, man. I, you know, I'm out here. I'm, 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 I'm uh, and I definitely would have came on here, you know, if I needed some bread trying to cap about no serial killer. If I needed some bread, I would have been back out here robbing you niggas. That's what I would have been doing. I wouldn't have been on here trying to cap and get some bread, you dig? I'd have went back to what I, what I used to do, like, so... Niggas better be thankful of that, for real, for real. You know, but I'm grown. I'm past that. I ain't, I don't want no smoke. I don't want no trouble. You know? Um. All right, so let me get into this, man. Uh, let me see. Let me look at some questions first. <laughs> Nigga, get, get to it. Nigga, this my shit. You one of them. Get to it. Get your ass off my live. How about that? I ain't one of them other niggas. I'm me. Get your ass off my live. If you don't like me taking my time, get to it. Take your ass and watch the BET Awards, bro. I don't never be on here, and this why. Right. I ain't got no apologies for none of you niggas, man. Like, for real, for real. That ain't, that ain't what I do. And I don't want you to have none for me. You know? Let me see. And I see the nigga that said that, bro, you still on here because this shit is at 909. It ain't went to 908. So that means you still on here. So, so at ease, nigga. I mean, at ease, dude. I'm trying to change my language, trying to stop cussing and all this stuff. All right. All right, so anybody got any questions before I, uh, before I start this thing right here? New music. Yeah, that's another, that's another thing, bro. It's like, listen, Cash talking about, oh, he must be about to drop some new music. I had no... I swear, even on my goddamn kids, bro, I ain't have no inclination to drop in no new music. I ain't put that shit up because I got a book to sell or I wanted some new blue hats or some shit. I ain't do none of that shit, B. I, I mean, none of that stuff, man. I was really, I, I, I happened to come, you know, to the crib. You know, my people had it on and that shit just flooded back like, damn, yo, I do, I do remember the bro. And the only reason why it stood out to me, even the meeting, Cause he was just another dude in the joint, but it stood out to me because they had prefaced it before the police came in. They was like, "Oh, we got this dude coming in," and blah blah blah. They weren't specific. They was like, "Oh, he got he got bodies." I thought they said that he was going to death row. Either they said he going to death row, he was gonna get the death row, or something like that. So when dude came in, just to stare, like in my mind, I was like, you know, being a, a light teenager, just looking at it like, 
damn, this dude, he on his way to die. Like, that's some shit to stick with you. Like, you'll remember some shit like that. You dig? So that's why I even remember this. So when they showed his face on TV, that shit just came flooding back. Like, damn, like, that boy, I do remember this. Like, this was, you know, this was a part of my history, man. So, told y'all the first part. If I thought about doing any movies, I was going, I was doing my life story, man. It's a long story, man. I, I'm kind of a fuck up a little. I mean, I kind of a mess up a little bit, man. I spent a lot of money, you know, doing my stuff, but I shot it the wrong way. So I really just had to eat it. <laughs> you know, I really just had to eat it, man. But, you know, I'm a work in progress, man. I ain't gonna even lie. These other niggas got it together. I don't got it together. You dig what I'm saying? I don't got it together. I'm 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 working on getting my shit together. So, you know, that's what it is. Um Yeah, so I never knew I, I never knew the deal. So let me get into this. And then I'm gonna go, because I'm gonna watch the BET Awards my damn self, man. Which they ain't never gave me no award, by the way. Just wanna let y'all know. <laughs> so uh let me see. Let me see. Oh, and I'm gonna show bro, I'm gonna show y'all something too, like so, I'm not going to even go into the the couple of different stories that I have about the situation. Um, and I'm not because there's been a lot of stuff going on in my ear. Like, like I told you, I have I had no intention on putting out no music. But then my phone blowing up like, oh, you better use this opportunity to, to put out some music and blah, blah, blah. So, you got them right. I'm going to put out some music. I'm, I'm about to drop a cut. You know, a little record that I had or whatever. I'm going to put it out there. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what I do. I do music. I don't do the rest of this shit, bro. I do music and I do shows, man. So, obviously, if it's a pedestal for me to do my thing, then I'm going to do it. So, yeah, I got a record that's dropping. Um, but that ain't what I'm talking about right now. This situation, it's, it's a lot of situations that I could talk about. But I ain't going to go off into them situations. I'm going to just tell y'all one situation. And this shit right here... It's probably worth the other three at the most situations that I could tell you about it. So, <laughs> so one one uh one day, right? I told you I'm a porter. In case y'all don't know how this prison shit work, and everybody tell me, oh, well, it, porter is reserved for cats who've been there for a long time. Stupid! You ain't never been to prison. Porter is anybody that the police like at the time. You dig? They could have had been discussing some football or something. And the police was like, oh, he a cool dude. Hey, you want to be a porter today? And the cat like, yeah. So he rock out like that. You dig? So anyway, I was a porter. Now, how porter work, I got four shifts. I get up in the morning. I get the breakfast. I take the breakfast to the inmates. Then I take the trays back. I set them down. Bam. I do that for lunch. I do that for dinner. And then at night, I go clean the area. Because them cats get an hour wreck. You lock down. 23 hours a day. An hour. You get out. You can either take a shower. Or you only get a shower. You used to get a shower. Um, either every two or every three days. And you can choose if you want to get a shower. Or you want to get wreck. You dig know what I'm saying? So anyway. At uh, my last shift. Was I had to clean up after, you know, whoever, whether it was top tier turn or whether it was bottom tier turn or whatever like that. So anyway, my night tier turn, right? Got the little trays to pass everything through. I'm a vegetarian, right? So I don't eat no meat. So pretty much every time that they had meat trays or something like that, I'm like trading my meat, whatever it was, it was chicken, ham or whatever. I'd be trading my meat for something because I don't eat it. Usually for desserts. Like I said, I'm a teenager, so nigga wanted some sweets or whatever. So I'm trading this shit. So this particular day, right? Well, let me, hold on. Let me back up. I'm going to say one more thing before I get to this. Is that niggas talking about, oh, well, he was the only down there uh, for this amount of time. And he should have been. I don't really know how long the nigga was there. But I know it was just briefly. It seemed like as soon as he came in, he left back out. I don't remember. It wasn't on my mind. I still don't give a fuck to this day. I'm going to fuck about his, his hair color. I don't give a fuck about his glasses. I don't give a fuck about his collar shirt that he wear. I don't care nothing about it. None of that, bro. I'm just telling you 
my interpretation of the situation, right? So anyway, you know, I had the, um, the little chicken that day or whatever. So, uh, uh, man, stop playing, bro. Huh? Can't figure it out? I'll do it. I'll do it. Don't worry about it. All right, so anyway, this particular day, they had chicken this day. So, you know, I'm like, yo, who want to trade the chicken for a dessert or whatever? So, you know, nigga was like, what? And so then dude, Dahmer, dude, he was like, um, yo, I mean, I want the chicken. He's like, I got a dessert, but I took a, uh, a spoon out there. You know, they used to have the little, little cake or whatever like this, little square ass cake. He's like, yo, but I took a spoon out the cake or whatever like that. I was like, shit, I don't want no cake with no spoon now, bro. I, I'm going to give it to somebody else. And he was like, oh, but I got something else. And I was like, what you got? He was like that he got a book, right? And so if you haven't been to prison, and when he said like that, then you know in a whole, it's two things that's of super, super importance to you. A pencil that's sharp and a goddamn book. You dig what I'm saying? So when homie, not homie, because y'all niggas, y'all niggas, uh, goddamn, y'all shit on yourself when I call him homie. I call everybody homie, man, you know? But, uh, dude, he said he had a book. So I'm lit now. I'm like, oh, hell yeah, because you can pass time with a book. You can read this shit like 30 times. So he like, but I only got the, um, I want to give you, it's like I read the first half of the book. And so he told the book in half, like, I'm going to give you the first half. And then tomorrow, I promise I'll give you the second half. I'm going to read it tonight. I'm like, cool. So just me getting the book, I'm like, cool, cool, cool. Gave me the book. Read the book. The name of this book. Is um is a uh, uh, lucid dreaming by Stephen LeBurge. I I had anybody that know me know I'm heavy heavy into the lucid dreaming thing, right? So the lucid dreaming, and this time you know that this shit ain't no cap, right? All my books, like you can look at, like even my stuff right here. All this stuff is from the joint. The Tibetan Book of Yoga, and this one is just. Lucid Dreaming. I got a whole bunch of Lucid Dreaming books. But anyway, that was the first book on Lucid Dreaming that I ever had. You dig what I'm saying? And you know what? Then I named one of my albums after that stuff. If y'all like Jenny's fans, and y'all know I got an album called Lucid. That's where it come from. It came from this book. So anyway, dude, bam, he bust the book in half, gave me the half of the book. Then the second half of the book, he was supposed to give me the next day. But he wound up leaving out that night or early in the morning. Either way, when I got out to break the breakfast, dude's gone. You know, and let me let me let me show y'all something. I ain't gonna even tell the rest of the stories before that. I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna show y'all some shit. It's gonna fuck you up though. I'm gonna show you some shit. Hold on. I mean, it's gonna mess you up. So, hold on. Let me turn this thing. How you, how you turn this thing around? Hold on. Let me see. Hold up. Can you turn it around? Oh, yeah. Okay. Bam. All right. So, look. Let me show y'all something real quick. Just so y'all know it ain't cat. This is what we had in the joint. This is my tape player from the joint. I got tapes from... Inside the joint to where I recorded my own music on. That's a whole nother story. And I also got a story about that. Actually, this is all this, this is all the stuff. You know, it's a little it's a little messed up. But it's my shit. I love it. It's memories for me. So I keep it. I don't want to hear that shit. Why you got all that trash? This ain't trash. This is my shit. Um, so yeah, all of this, all these tapes, all this shit is from that time and so this right here is my laundry bag that i came from prison in and i keep it under my bed because i'll be like remember got all my mail that i had not a lot but you know the important shit and anybody that been to prison you know this shit ain't cap because tell me where you can get a bag like this you can't get a bag like this nowhere but prison this is where this shit come from these are all the books i had in prison so let me show you something else. I'm gonna fuck you up. What's that? Look. It's half of a book. It's 
Exploring the world of lucid dreaming. Look at that. You can fake a lot of shit, but you can't fake wear and tear like this, can you? You can't do that. And then you can see parts in here to where dude had, you know, made little, like, notes and stuff on different parts. Dude made all these little, he didn't make a whole bunch of notes, but it's, it's a couple, he made a couple more notes. And this one, I got it. And this was in here, too. I guess this was his bookmark. I don't know what that stuff say. Pal, Rio, or some shit. And this shit just been in here. And it's sitting on, well, that's the other part. And so we, you know, half a book, bro. And my dude told me stop touching it because he was like, they might be able to pull some fingerprints off over to something. And they talking about that uh, I could possibly sell the book or whatever. I mean, I would. If I, if I did sell the book, you know, I, I um I probably would get a bread to them families or whatever the fuck dude did. Because I'm sure they didn't get nothing. Unless I was getting a couple M's for it. If I was getting a couple M's for it, I'm going to keep some of that shit. I'm just, you know, I'm just keeping it 100 with you. Like, I, <laughs> shit, like, you know, shit, I'm, I'm trying to be all right too, but I, you know. But yeah, so the only other thing is, like I say, I ain't going to really go all the way into it. But, um, you know, we, huh? You say what happened? All right, hold up a second. I'm about to come. I'm about to get off in a second. So, we had um, light conversation about the book. You know what I'm saying? And that was like my first introduction into that. You know? And now, as you see, I got a gang of books. You know? And I'm not, I'm not glorifying. I don't know. You know, honestly, at that time and even now, I don't know. I don't know what the dude did. Like, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I can read. I don't watch shit like that. Like y'all, like y'all weird. Like a lot of a lot of niggas is weird, bro. Because you want better shit in your life. Like you want positive circumstances and you want your actions to be positive. But then you put all this negative shit into your mind and into your spirit. So me, I'm not watching no murder shows. I'm not watching no unsolved mysteries and all this shit. I don't watch that shit, bro. The most of the shit I watch, like, you don't trip, I watch Star Trek, bro. You know what I'm saying? I watch shit like that that's good for my mind, man. You know? So, the Dahmer shit, I never cared nothing about. Even the thing that's on, I never, I didn't watch it. I watched that little piece of it, had that memory, and I was straight. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. So, anyway, that's it. The other story is just gonna have to wait, if ever, you know, they get told the rest of the shit. So, the rest of the stuff. Um, yeah, uh, music coming and all the rest of that. And that's it, man. And, 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 and if, and if niggas got some foolery to say, say it off of my page, man. You know, whatever you got to say, you know, I told, I said what I said, man. And that's it.